Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to episode 3 of our Dean Smith Follow in His Footsteps Challenge and we are still at Warsaw obviously for episode 3 and today a slight change in programming we're going to be playing Birmingham City, local rivals and my mortal enemies uh, in uh, in the Carabao Cup 4th round, uh, no 3rd round, whatever the 2nd round is we're in, maybe it's the 2nd round, one of the rounds anyway, an early round of the Carabao, must be the 2nd round <laughs> and then we're going to be playing Grimsby in the uh, in uh, League 2 as well. I thought we'd start by having a quick update of how the dynamics are looking uh, we're about a month into the season now. You can see cohesion is still not fantastic. Um, I think we're making a little bit of progress towards it, but maybe not great. Dressing room atmosphere and managerial support is still not too bad, even though it has dropped off ever so slightly since uh, our really good start last episode. Uh, and speaking of last episode, we do have a few games to catch you up on since then, starting with our uh, Carabao Cup four, uh, sorry, first round match against South End. And spoiler alert, we win this. We took the lead after 18 seconds when Mitchell Candlin pounced on a rebound. But we were pegged back immediately. Hardy picked out Rory Holden at the back post to restore our lead. And Dan Scar got our third in first half stoppage time. Southend pulled one back in the second half, but we held on for the win. So a fantastic first half performance, a crazy start to the game with two goals in just over a minute. Uh, and Mitch uh, Candelan's goal was actually uh, the quickest goal in uh, EFL Cup history. I think it was 18 seconds or so it was timed that. Um, so he, he did really, really well there. Good finish early on, uh, set us on our way. Holden and uh, Scar with the uh, with the other two goals. And then we kind of hung on a little bit in the second half, but we definitely deserve to win. And let's not forget South End, League One team. Uh, so that's beating uh, a sort of higher league opposition. We have to go up another division today to face Birmingham City, but hopefully um, we might get ourselves into the third round of the Carabao Cup. The next game to catch you up on, back to league action now, this time against Crew. Matt Sadler gave us the lead. But Crew pulled us back just before halftime. But Norman Cross for Denny Guthrie to give us the points late on. So this was an even game, as you can see from the match stats there. Shots were even, possession was more or less even. A good away performance from us, though. I think we did just about deserve it. I think we looked a little bit more dangerous than they did. Um, but yes, yeah, Sadler and Guthrie with the goals and a big, big three points on the road, this one. Uh, next up, it was Newport in the league. We went behind when Newport caught Alfie Bates in possession and then smashed in a stunner. But Bates made up for his error when the ball fell for him at the edge of the area. So this was a frustrating one. They scored with their only shot on target, and what a shot it was as well. Uh, we deserve to win this. We, we just did. Uh, Alfie Bates got the goal, made up for his error, which is nice. But yeah, this was a frustrating one that, um, that got away from us, I think. We definitely deserve to win this. And the final game to catch you up on, again in League 2, against Plymouth. We went in front in the 87th minute, thanks to Mitchell Candlin. But Plymouth drew level in stoppage time after a comedy of errors. And then stole all three points. Oh, this one, this is a coach killer. We didn't deserve to win the game. We really, really didn't. We were outplayed for the most part. But to go in front so late on and still lose the game, unbelievable. Really, really frustrating. It was good to see Candlin get a goal. He's looking a little bit better um, as my cat joins me on the desk here. Hi, Eloise. Um, yeah, but yeah, just a frustrating, a frustrating to, to come away with nothing from that was really, really disappointing. So a quick update of the league table. You can see Plymouth are leading the way, so it would have looked even better had we won away to them, uh, or even taken a point. Uh, but we still sit there in a decent spot in sixth. And we're supposed to finish mid-table, so we're well and truly on track for that. But again, five games gone, still over 40 games to play this year. So very, very early days. And we start over here in the Carabao Cup. Um, second round. Now let's go and have a quick look at what we're up against here. We are not the favourites, even though we are the home team, but you'd probably just about expect that, to be honest. Um, scouting report, there are Pep Clote, I guess you pronounce it, coach team. Um, so there we go. We can see his ins and outs there. Uh, a balanced standard playing style. We're expecting them to come out in a 4-4-2 style formation um, with trader-in-chief Scott Hogan up top for them. Uh, <laughs> Bellingham, of course, playing for them, isn't he? So it's going to be tough, especially if they play their uh, their first team here. Uh, we can see they are slightly narrow. Maybe we can get down the sides of them. Time will tell on that. We can see their passing network and their key passes there. 
a quick, this is a good opportunity to sort of, uh, we'll see where they are down there in 18th, but also have an update on Brentford, which is, of course, our next destination. They're sitting there in mid-table right now. They've had a little bit like us, maybe a slightly worse start, but a, 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 a unremarkable, if not uh, spectacular start. They haven't lost yet, but they've drawn four of their five games. So, um, no, they haven't. They've lost, they're this one, aren't they? They've lost one, drawn three, and, and won one. So, um, yeah, they're just looking to be a mid-table team right now. And to be honest, we don't want them getting sacked yet because it's too soon for us. We haven't done enough yet to warrant uh, getting a bigger job. I wouldn't have thought. This is the team we're sending out. We're going more and not quite full strength. Uh, we do, of course, need to be rotating around a little bit with, um, you know, with with games coming thick and fast here. But it's, it's a pretty strong team. So it's Rose going in goal. It's Jules. It's Scar. Now, I don't think we've seen him in the starting lineup before. He's a good, solid option at centre-back. Um, so we're going to give him a start in this one with Clark and uh, Facey as, uh, at right back. Now, again, we've played Norman in the past. So he's, uh, again, a solid enough right back. Not the best crosser, which is disappointing. Sharon comes in to play the anchor man in this one. A more defensive setup. Sinclair, the bearded wonder, and Guthrie go in midfield. It's McDonald down the right, um, who's, uh, who's, who's been a little bit disappointing, to be honest. Hopefully he picks himself up, has a big game here. Redmond down the left. Lavery up top. Let's see if we can beat the Blues. So there we go. Everybody is playing as expected, and it does look as though they've put out a, a fairly strong team here. So this is going to be very, very tough for us. We're, we're going to have done well if we win this. Uh, Marcus Stewart says we should encourage the team. Um, let's go out there, cause an upset, boys. Some calm, we have faith, and let's see what we can do. Not the best reaction we'll ever get from a team talk, is it? And here we go. This is a first really big test. South End, I think we can see from real life, they're not a great team. I think they are a League 2 team in all but sort of name. Um, but this is obviously another big step up for us. And it'll be interesting to see exactly how well we can do here. Um, I am a little bit concerned in that we're conceding a lot of late goals. Scott Hogan, no, off the post. Um... Yeah, we're considering a lot of late goals, so I have done a little bit of endurance training, wondering if it is a fitness issue. Um, we have not always looked the best defensively. Um, and of course, the difficult part in now that the season is properly underway is that you're playing tw you know, three times a week, and so training is a lot more difficult. We're a little bit of a back foot here. It's a good finish. But that's not the start we wanted, is it? We'll tell them to show some passion, but... We, we got nowhere near them there, did we? And we're 1-0 down after f or six, seven minutes, and that's not what we wanted against Birmingham. Um, on the bright side, it looks like we do have a decent crowd in, which is nice. That will help the finances, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, the goalkeeper got nowhere near that, did he? It's a dive for the cameras, uh, but nothing more than that. Uh, all right, let's see if we can get ourselves involved in this game of football now, please, boys. Come on. Um... We'll tell them to get creative, perhaps. We haven't done anything yet. This isn't particularly working, so let's try and exploit the flanks. We saw they were a little bit narrow last time. Uh, I do wonder if maybe we should have come back up these lines, actually, um, up against higher league opposition, but it just kind of is what it is at this point, isn't it? I didn't do it. We found ourselves behind, and let's see if we can demand a little bit more. I don't like the anxiousness here, boys. Come on. They're looking to have changed to a shorter passing style. Um... I'm wondering that we should probably close up the lines now if they're doing that. Try and make it difficult for them to play through us and just wide. Uh, all right, so let's do that. And if they're going to play short, let's push up as well. Um, yeah, this has not, this has not been the half I was hoping for. We have not, we've not laid a glove on them, have we? We've barely touched the ball. 34% possession, no shots on goal. It's been a disaster. Uh, so we're going to have to say, boys, I want much, much better than that. We've stressed out Guthrie, who has usually been quite good for us. And we've also stressed out McDonald, who has not been so good for us. Um, we are still, of course, well, we. I am still figuring out exactly how to get the best out of players, what's their best position, things like that. So uh, that's that, that'll sort of come with time. Uh, we'll get to know the players that we trust, the players that we, you know, that we don't trust. Uh, I'm thinking though Guthrie may need to come out of this game and Sinclair who's not had a good start to the season either uh, He may also need to uh, need to come out here. All right, so let's we need to change something here. So let's 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 I don't think raising the tempo is going to help us. Let's go a little bit more direct. Let's take it off work the ball into the box and We're gonna have to make some subs here aren't we McDonald is not having a good game. All right It might be a Warsaw highlight. Here we go Clark Captain Clark out from the back a ball to nobody, and never mind, it's not going to be... <laughs> they're teasing us now, aren't they? Come on, boys, let's at least... Maybe we should get stuck in. If we can't beat them, then break them. There we go, header away from Facey. It's down. Can we get to that? No, we can't. We're nowhere near them, are we? 
They're passing it around us for fun. They're taunting us. We're going to get stuck in, I think. There's Facey. He can't even lunge someone down. And goalkeeper makes a decent save. Scott Hogan picks it up. Can we just kick someone kick something? If it's in blue, kick it. Here we go. Guthrie. Ball forward. There it is for Lavery. All right. A chance. Maybe a chance. Lavery has got a very tight angle. It's cleared away. Penalty ref. No such luck. And that'll do it for that. All right. Kick him. And let's make some subs. Uh, all right, we need to we need to get Hardy on for McDonald because McDonald has had a nightmare. Sinclair again is letting us down a little bit in there. Let's get now Sam Perry is someone that we've called up I think from the uh, from the youngsters. Um, I don't know that we want to bring him. I think what we might do is Kinsella as a deep lying playmaker and just try and um, try and we need to try and get some sort of control of the game in midfield, don't we? Guthrie, uh, that's fine. And we'll leave it at that. I'm wondering, actually, Jules is not having a great game. Can he play centre-back? He can play centre-back, can't he? Uh, he can. So what we might do is we'll bring Pring on for Scar, who's looking anxious. Switch those guys around and get a more attacking option at fullback in. Uh, and there we go. That's our three subs. And let's hope that we get some sort of a reaction here from them. We'll demand more. Facey wins the header. Can King Seller get to that? No, he cannot. Lavery's there. Can he get a foot in? No. And what's becoming of this? They ju it's just looking all a little bit too easy for them. And there we go. Redmond wins the ball back. Cross into the box. And that's 2-0. And I'm going to say that's the game. And we have, we've been thoroughly outclassed here, haven't we? Um, there's, yeah, there's no, there's no real sugarcoating that is there. We've just been very, very much second best. Redmond did well there. Won the ball. But a first time cross in. And none of the defenders really responded, did they? Um, Clark in there just nothing absolutely nothing we're still looking anxious we're still looking nervous maybe we give them a calm down perhaps i don't even know what to say i don't even think it matters at this point does it um all right let's go and close them down um let's get the ball out to the flanks and let's just get the ball into the middle let's be more expressive and let's just see what happens we'll play for set pieces as well can't hurt uh we need something to try and get us back in this game but we're much we're looking more likely to lose four nil than yeah than than two one there's three nil and, yeah, this has not gone well. Very, very disappointing performance from us. But, I mean, this isn't our season, obviously. We, we, you know, we were never, we never going to win this trophy. But it's one of those where it would have been nice to stay in it and try and get uh, an away tie at a bigger team and get it just for the money. But, I mean, this, this has not been good. Uh, what we don't want to do, of course, is end up getting completely embarrassed by a, uh, a bunch of... I don't know what what's, I can say here that's not going to get me demonetized. But insert your own swear word there. Um, here we go. Facey has the ball. Ball. No, it's it's poor, isn't it? It's poor. We're not passing to each other. Lavery, can he nick that? No, he cannot. Um, it's been a... a I, I'm struggling to take any positives out of this. We haven't defended well. We haven't passed the ball well. Uh, we, we haven't had any chances. We've had no possession. We haven't had a shot on goal. That is just outrageously bad, isn't it? But maybe a little bit of a reality check as to exactly what we still have to do here. That, as I said, is not good enough. We're going to have to be aggressive after that. That's that's really, really poor. As I say, you know, we didn't lay a glove on them. And you'd like to think that you could at least... Uh, how many Birmingham City players do we have in our team? Uh, you'd like to at least think that we could, you know, lay a glove on them at home. And we got nowhere near them. Anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll play Grimsby next. And hopefully, hopefully we'll see something from us in that one. Okay, welcome back. We're hosting Grimsby Town in the league. Grimsby, you can see there, sitting down there in 11th. Only a point behind us, though. So it is important that we try and win this game, mainly because we've got to try and turn this form around, which is just beginning to uh, become problematic for us. Uh, we have a quick look here. They are an Ian Holloway coached team, uh, an attacking direct style of play. If you have a quick look at Holloway, one of my favorites, I've got to be honest. I do like Mr. Holloway. Um, but there we go. We can see his, uh, his uh, stats there. Have a quick look at what we're expecting from them. We are expecting this sort of a formation. So basically what we're playing uh, as well. We can see there their positional heat map. Maybe slightly narrow and maybe they're right back a little bit ambitious. But we can get in down the left is what uh, something I'm hoping to do anyway. We can see their passing networks there and their key passes as well. Tend to be sort of in that final third that they uh, before they sort of make that killer ball. So 
Um, yeah, we'll keep that in mind. And this is a team that we're sending out. Now, obviously, the game's coming thick and fast. We've had to make a lot of changes for this one. And even then, we still have some match fatigue players on the field here. So Rose is going to continue in goal. Roberts will be back soon. Um, he's about five days away. So he's, 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 he's coming back, which is good. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Cockrell Mollett at left back. Sadler, hopefully, he won't. Uh, he'll play 95 minutes today and not just 94. Uh, Clark and Norman. Sharon continues in the uh, deep-lying uh, midfielder role there. It's Alfie Bates and Willis. I don't think we've seen Willis in the team before. He played uh, one of the games and did quite well. So we're going to give him a game here. And we need, it's 17. We need to obviously get the youngsters playing so they develop. It's going to be Gordon down the right. Again, I don't think that we've seen him. McDonald is a shambles right now. And Hardy is match fatigue. So we'll give Gordon a chance out there. It's going to be Holden down the left with Redmond, of course, needing a rest. And Candlin goes up top. I think he's our top goal scorer so far. So... Let's hope he bangs in a couple here. All right, so everybody is playing as expected, which, as I said, is always a nice bonus for us. Um, go out there putting in a better performance than last time, no doubt about that. You can see morale is just starting to dip um, a little bit here. So let's uh, go out there, show the world you have what it takes. I think I like... Uh, we'll, no, I think I like show the world you have what it takes, yeah. Um, we don't want to sort of... Basically, we're criticizing if we say do better than last time, aren't we? We want to try and be positive here if we can. Um... And yeah, hopefully we get a better performance. We'll just dust that off. You know, at Birmingham City is a championship team. They're two divisions above us. Um, you know, that was always possible that it could happen. This is this is our season here. It's beating the likes of Grimsby at home. So let's hope that we can go and do just that. Uh, in hindsight, maybe I was a little bit too strong with the team selection for the Birmingham game. Uh, it means we're a little bit weaker here than I'd like to be. But we're, we're weaker with young players that are, that are potentially quite good. So... Um, you know, if they step up, then we're, we're fine. Here we go with Gordon. Blocked across. Norman can't quite get it back. Can we pick this up? Oh, we've got to be quicker than that, Mollet. Come on, mate. Here they go, getting forward. Can we get a block in here? We're not going to get done on the break, are we? We've let them walk in, and it's horrible goalkeeping as well. Billy Clark has given them the lead. And, oh, uh, it was going so well last episode, wasn't it? We'll give them a, what do we want to say here? Maybe a concentrate... And there's nothing worse than being hit on the break like that. It was not good enough defensively. The goalkeeper's got to do better than that as well. And we're 1-0 down inside 12 minutes. Come on. We're looking overwhelmed and anxious. This is almost getting to team meeting territory now, isn't it? We've got to, we've got to start and turn this around. We haven't done badly. You know, we were so unlucky against Plymouth. Uh, we've had a couple of games that we've drawn that we probably should have won. There's a decent cross into the box. It's fallen to Gordon. Oh, and you've got to do better again. Uh, we are starting to go back to basics in training. We're just going to do, like, work on defense. Um, we'll probably do some sessions on uh, just, like, ball retention, things like that. So Bates has Bate done well there. Here we go. Sharon over the top. Can Holden keep that in? Yeah, we can, but not really. Oh, it's a mistake. Canlon's there, and he's had out off the post. Unlucky. We're looking anxious. Boys, just... What are we doing? What, what is this anxiousness? Just relax. Um, maybe we go attacking here. Try and get ourselves back into this. Uh, half time and... Well, I mean, they've scored from their only highlight, essentially, haven't they? Uh, all right, let's get maybe a little bit of passion. Um, yeah, let's show us what we're all about in that second half. And we'll tell Alfie Bates not to get himself sent off. And just some, uh, we have faith. Yeah, calm, we have faith in you boys. Go out there and just be better. Uh, I'm beginning to wonder if a, if, if a change in formation is required. But I, I do think a lot of our problem is just the team cohesion. Ball in from the corner. It's out to the edge of the area. We have, who's that, Gordon? Oh, it's a wayward shot. Um, and I, and as I said, I do think I did, in hindsight, make a little bit of a mistake playing such a strong team against Birmingham when we really should have been focusing on this game here. <laughs> Uh, we've done okay there in the end defensively and forced him into a tight angle, but uh, let's try a demand more, maybe. Why are we looking so anxious, boys? Why are we looking so anxious? Um, I tell you what, going to Aston Villa seems a long way away right about now, doesn't it? Here we go with a goal kick. Rose there for Clark. Over to Sadler. Sadler looks for Mollett, finds him. Can he get a ball down the line? He goes in field for Willis, and Willis, poor touch. Um, can we get to that? A loose pass. Candlin pounces. All right, here we go. He turns a little bit of space. Drives it ahead of Gordon. Can Gordon do something for us here? Gordon across the face of goal. Um, all right, let's take it off work ball into the box. Let's uh, maybe try pass the ball into space. Let's go counter press them. Um, 
I mean, defensively, we don't look too bad. I mean, they've only scored on the counter-attack. They haven't... We've dominated the game again. All right, we just... You do think that if we can get a goal, then it will be sort of... You know, we, we could easily go on and win it. Ball out there, back out to the corner, taken Norman. The second attempt in with the cross. Holden picks it up. Can he get a ball in? Back post again, it's headed away. And... I almost wonder, I tell you what, oh, they've stopped it up and Mitchell Candlin pounces like a cat. And it's 1-1, his third of the season, and that has come out of absolutely nowhere. But we'll take it, they've gifted us a goal there. A terrible, what is this guy thinking? What is he thinking? What is the defender thinking? I don't know, but it's 1-1. That's League 2 football for you, isn't it? Candlin just lurking around the pouncy area, and hopefully that'll give us a little bit of confidence so we can go on and uh, and maybe win this thing now. Let's give it a, maybe a get creative. Look at this. Okay, now we're looking a lot more confident. Hopefully, we're not going to get overconfident here, though. Come on, boys. Come on. Can we win this back? No. Ball over the top. I wonder if we need to defend with a little bit more width here. Gonzalez comes inside, and Rose, this occasion, holds onto the ball. And I just having seen that, let's defend with more width. Come on, boys. Come on. All right, let's put pressure on up the field here. Can we uh, make them into a second mistake here? Glennon. Is that Anthony Glennon from uh, Barla Town, I wonder? Did we get him from Grimsley? It just might be, you know. I'll have to check that. There's a ball for Candlin. He's in here again. No, it's just sort of hacked clear. Sharon picks it up. He's been called up to the Cape Verde uh, national team. So well done to him. We've got an international in our ranks. Another ball there for Willis, the youngster for Holden. He's got an overlapping run if he wants him. He's turned into a little bit of space. Ball across. Candlin's there. It's blocked and hacked behind for a corner. We've definitely livened up since the goal, haven't we? Corner to knock in by Norman. Can he find a teammate? Can he find a teammate? It's Mollet. It's headed away. And are we going to get done on the break again? Boys... We've seen this already. Oh, Bates with a good tackle, especially with a booking. Um, let's maybe, having seen him on a booking there, let's, let's bring Perry on. for Yeah, we'll bring him on for Bates. Um, that's fine. And do we want to make any other changes? I mean, we're looking tired, but the problem, as I said, is that we've got a lot of fatigued players on the bench as well. Let's get Pring on at left back as well. And let's see if we can go and win this game of football in stoppage time. Can we do it? No, we cannot. Well, I guess it's okay. It's not a loss. We didn't really create too much, did we? But uh, we'll say unlucky and hopefully build a bit of confidence from that. So shares spoiled as Chambers and Walsall reunite uh, passions, I guess. Uh, Canslin with the goal. He took it well, didn't he? Um, you know, it wasn't it wasn't the easiest. It was sort of guilt edge. He had to sort of take it first time. I did want to check, actually, didn't I, if that was... Um, if that was Anthony Glennon from the Barla Safe. Uh, where are we here? Glennon, Glennon. It is Anthony Glennon. Look at that. Nice to see him again. Uh, all right. So there we go. That is it for today's episode, guys. If you have enjoyed that, yeah, it was okay, wasn't it? It was okay. Um, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you to everybody who's been watching and, and uh, liking and, and commenting as well. It, it all helps the videos early on in the series get found by more people. So that's greatly appreciated. We're not sitting too badly in the league. We've still only lost the one game, but performances have taken a slide and so have our results, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we go from here. We'll be back uh, next time for Crawley Town away and Salford at home. Now, Salford are a big team in this league, aren't they? So that's going to be two, two very big games. If we can take four points from those, I think we'll be happy. And hopefully, we'll get a little bit more green in between now and then as well. Until then, guys, I've been Aussieville. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.